Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. We're out here, and it's been a been a messy day. <laughs> it has been. We woke up to snow, like wet snow, but it wasn't cold enough to stick, and it's just been a crazy morning. Uh, been dreary, rainy, snowy all day, but it's not nothing really stuck. It's over. It's above freezing. It's in the 40s now, so weather's okay. It's a little windy, but I checked for these eggs. Hey, kids. Hey, Tootie. Hey Tilly. Hey, so they always seem to greet me. This is the red, the red ones. Four New Hampshire reds. What they're we have, we have uh, four of those, and they always seem to greet you. They always want the attention. Hey Heidi, you guarding the you guarding the boxes? Oh, there's one. That's a nest egg. And there's another one. Another nest egg. Come Bella, you want down? I'll get you down. These things are like gold these days, right? <laughs> but uh, we love getting these eggs, but one thing you gotta remember about it is that like, again, right now, we, we don't, we're we only getting a few eggs here and there. Uh, those two laid today are great. Um, but if you notice, we have nest eggs in the boxes. It's just something that uh, we put nest eggs in there. Makes the, first of all, when you have young hens or pullets, they need kind of direction on where to put their eggs typically. Um, Tootie's very loud. <laughs> but uh, also, like, they tend to want to go where there's already an egg at, right? So, like, it kind of gives them say, look, there's one here, there's an egg here, there's an egg here, I can go there. You know, there's already a clutch of eggs starting because that's their whole uh, purpose in laying an egg is to reproduce. So, they want to build a clutch of eggs. So, if they see an egg in a box, okay, I'll go put an egg with that one. Oh, I'll go put an egg with that one. That's why when hens start hiding eggs, they'll all hide them in the same place. <laughs> and you'll find, you know, people people go out and find eight, 12, 15 eggs in the same spot because their hens have been hiding their eggs over there to build one clutch to hatch. Now, obviously right now, eggs are very expensive. For people, they become gold. People really, really, really value these eggs. And they all want, and everybody wants to start, you know, raising chickens for eggs. They're thinking it's a good idea, which I believe it is a good idea, by the way. But also, some people just want to get all their eggs and preserve them all, and that's that's that is important to be able to have your own food, right? To preserve them. But you know, you really got to be careful on some things. You girls doing okay? Scraping feet again, Tilly. Yeah. Tilly's a food waster. She scrapes that food straight out and throws it on the floor and wastes it. It drives me nuts. But she lays eggs right now. Now a lot of people, their 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 uh, the thoughts might be, hey, I don't want eggs. I see people on the internet talking about uh, preserving their eggs, water glassing, freezing. You know, we 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 froze our eggs uh, last year. Uh, we didn't water glass. We did a video on that. Why we don't water glass? Um, you can rub them in mineral oil. Mineral oil. Yeah, sorry, North Carolinians say oil. They don't say oil. It's a mineral oil. <laughs> Um, there's all kinds of there's ways you can preserve your eggs, but I want you to be clear about something You know, you think I'm gonna go buy eggs in a store and preserve them and you're not that you don't need to do that Okay, that's 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 something that we don't recommend uh, simply because An egg that's water glassed or or rubbed in mineral oil for sure. So if you're trying to you're trying to preserve this egg and um, Without washing it right you see that's the thing is to water glass and to use mineral oil on your eggs they need to be clean see see clean clean egg very beautiful clean egg clean egg unwashed okay that matters because when you get this egg okay there's a there's what, what we call bloom on it okay i'm not sure what the technical term is going to be but we call it a bloom it's an invisible coating that keeps this egg um from absorbing bacteria in the air okay because these shells are calcium they're porous okay they can absorb odors and bacteria and stuff out around them in the air and so if you don't wash this egg then it's good outside for you know probably a few months as far as outside just on the counter if you do wash this egg you need to put it in the fridge and a, a refrigerated washed egg that needs to stay refrigerated that's that's the difference that you're going to run into people and with uh getting your own eggs and buying eggs in the store 
is you can't preserve those eggs in outside of outside of cold storage of some kind okay so you need to be aware of that don't don't think you can go out and just buy eggs in the store and water glass them or, or rub them in mineral oil those eggs in the store first of all are older maybe not as old now as they used to be because there's less supply right less supply means there's they're, the things you're getting are, will be at least a little fresher but they're already in cold storage they've uh, been washed with a, a little bit of bleach solution okay so that that coating is no longer there so you can't no, you, you, you can't okay you shouldn't how about this i won't say you can't because you can do whatever you want but it just might make you sick okay but you shouldn't try to water glass those eggs and you shouldn't try to take those eggs and rub them down with mineral oil because they've already been cold so therefore they have to stay cold and also when you're water glassing those eggs um the like I said so they're in this lime solution and if you put an egg in there that has already been washed then the bloom's no longer on there and see that bloom kept keeps the the lime solution from penetrating the egg so that's that's another thing also you got to be a uh, full shell thick shell no cracks right so thick shell no cracks in the egg as well but um that bloom keeps that lime solution from penetrating that poor shell so if it's a washed egg and you put it in there then that lime solution can penetrate and, and start leaching into that egg and when you eat those eggs you'll get sick <laughs> you're you could get you could get sick doing eating those eggs like that so it's another reason why you really shouldn't try to water glass a washed egg okay if you want to preserve eggs in that manner you need to get some fresh clean <laughs> unwashed eggs clean is also the next term i mean while chickens might be in uh it's wet and kind of messy out here right now typically it's not so messy but these this is all pine shavings so it doesn't stick to their feet as much and they lay their eggs in these boxes and see with some of these boxes we have pine shavings these are the fine pine shavings that you can get at tractor supply yes too good now you're there you too sweetness now you're there clean is very important to eggs <laughs> you can you can get messy eggs okay and yes once in a while you know they might have a muddy foot and step on an egg and if, and if they do that then there might be a mud streak on that egg sometimes they might strain really hard and push out manure at this you know around right after or right before they lay that egg and if that's the case then you may get a little manure on that egg so those eggs are not <laughs> those aren't good for for trying to preserve at all because you got to wash that off right you got to get it off of there wash that off but other than that you need pine to me for us personally pine shavings works better some people use straw um, or whatever and, and that's fine that's okay whatever works best for you pine shavings the, the fine pine shavings work best for us we used to use straw in those boxes but um it just seemed like it didn't work as well honestly for whatever reason the pine shavings are probably more absorbent than straw is but that's why it's good to have you know pine shavings or straw in there yes um for any of you who have chickens or are looking to get in chickens there are these mats like artificial turf mats type things that you can get to put in your boxes um we haven't we thought about it i mean we have thought about it for sure but we haven't because they won't they're not absorbent <laughs> right and so if a chicken gets in there and, and you know manures in this box then there's nothing to absorb it whereas pine shavings will will absorb it and dry it out that helps you girls staying busy huh everybody in order purdy what about tootie mm -hmm. hey maggie what are you doing your camera shine maggie sweet in the sink you girls got plenty of feed bella the attention this time of year it's also good to keep them active uh, they're not gonna be active all the time like this weather really made them inactive bad they didn't uh, they weren't happy we got four inches or so of snow on Sunday so they came out I opened up the door for them Sunday morning and they looked out they're so mad it was white death <laughs> it was terrible and uh, they're, they're not happy about snow even though they're not in it where they're at 
they don't like seeing it. They want to see this grass. They want to get out on the grass and, and run around. Um, so <laughs> that shocked them. That shocked them uh, Sunday morning. So the eggs this week have been a little slower than they had been. But they're still laying eggs. We got six girls laying eggs right now. Once in a while. Uh, not not super consistent, but it's it's just the weather. Uh, they need to be in They need to be more active. So there's things you gotta do to keep them active. Give them something to eat, something to scratch in, whatever. But it works okay as long as they got some of these beautiful, beautiful gold nuggets, right? <laughs> but that's that's really all I kind of want to talk about today. Just keeping your chickens active and don't water. Don't try to preserve cold eggs and commercial eggs. It's just not gonna work out very well for you. You're probably gonna get sick if you try to water glass eggs that have been re re that have been already been refrigerated and had the bloom washed off. Because like the lime also in the water glass water, uh, the lime solution will get in those eggs at that point, and that'll you'll get that lime in your system when you eat it, and you'll get sick. So just don't do that. <laughs> all right, but thank y'all for watching so much. We do appreciate. It. My name is Jason. This is Art Creation Homestead. We love y'all. God bless you. And goodbye.